Today is Thursday, February 3rd. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the IB pledge. Today I pledge to do my best for myself and my school. I will, I will listen, listen and learn, I will contribute and work hard, and I will always treat others with respect. Don't forget that Student Council is selling Valentine Grants this week. They will be in the kids' court from 7.15 to 7.45. Each Valentine Gram costs 50 cents, so my fifth grade can purchase. If there are any left on Monday, February 7th, any grade level can purchase. A huge shout out goes out to the following students for being picked by specialist teachers for showing perseverance. These students were picked out of all the students in their grade level. Grade one, student Henry. Second grade is student Remy. Third grade student Lucas. Fourth grade student Aaron. Fifth grade student Charlotte. These student have these students have been working hard and persevered. They do not let distractions affect their learning. Way to go, Otters! Check out the Chinese New Year celebration at Hillhead Island Elementary. Parading through the halls, celebrating the Chinese New Year. It's the Year of the Tiger, and students in the Chinese Dual Language Program at Hilton Head Island Elementary School have been learning about the Chinese holiday. In first grade, students learn Tai Chi. Ooh. Because I come from the birthplace of Tai Chi and I want to blend the Tai Chi movements with the Chinese characters. So I just teach their movement, use their movement to write. Some second graders worked on writing a special character. This is Fu in Chinese. In English, it stands for fortune. During the Chinese New Year, you shall flip it upside down like this, meaning that the fortune has arrived, and you will hang it on your doorstep like this. Hunian Kuala. Happy Tiger Year. Happy Tiger Year. This third grade class has been working hard learning a new song. The song is about Lunar New Year. And how back then this monster called Nian came every once a year to the Chinese village and he ate their crops. And then the Chinese people finally found out that he was scared of loud noises and the color red. The food that they eat traditional is dumplings, tofu, bananas, apples, and tangerines. Students in the fourth grade learned how to make a popular Chinese food. They eat dumpling as their traditional food and they stay awake until midnight to see the fireworks and parades. We have the dough for the dumplings and you put the meat inside in the very middle. You use, you dip your finger in water and on the edges you put water around it. And the water is like a glue so when you do any single formation that you want to do with your dumpling, the water will make the dumplings stick. And two students in the fifth grade read a book to their class. The fifth graders also played a game to help them learn how to use chopsticks and created these paper tigers. At Hilton Head Island Elementary School, Ron Lopes, Beaufort County School District. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why did everyone want their music teacher to be on their baseball team? I don't know. Because she had the perfect pitch. <laughs> Well, that's all for today's show. I'm Sincere. And I'm Joshua. Have a great day, Otters. Yes. Good morning, Otters. Oh, okay. <laughs>